Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I'm really sorry that I didn't post anything on Friday. Um, I have kind of a change in my YouTube schedule that is going to start today. So I'm just going to be posting once a week now and it's going to be on Tuesday. So hashtag YouTube Tuesday. And um, basically this is because my Etsy shop has grown a little bit faster than I thought it would. So I've been kind of busy with that. I'm writing a lot for a website called Beauty Advisor and they are launching in the next few months as well. So I'm Life is just really busy and I don't want to take away the value of these videos for you guys and I found watching back older videos that the quality was kind of going down and finding that I was just putting videos up on the internet just to keep up with a schedule I had set for myself and they weren't really the best quality so I just want to really make quality videos for you guys. So I've gone ahead and done my foundation. I use Nars Sheer Glow in the color Gobi and a Real Techniques expert face brush expert face brush that's hard to say um to blend it all in i go down my neck a little bit um the one thing with foundation is my number one tip is always get color matched if you're going to invest in something makeup wise invest in foundation um colors are going to oxidize on your skin differently different brands make different formulations and just find something that feels comfortable to you if a store doesn't want you to walk out of their place with um, makeup on your face and you haven't bought anything, don't buy anything from there anyways. They're not a good place to buy from. And you're the customer, you're always right. So just be firm with what you want. If you want something that's more of a light coverage and that's more buildable, or if you want something that's really high coverage, really pigmented, and that's gonna sit on your skin and look flawless, tell them that. So definitely do all of those things when you're looking for a foundation. Invest in your foundation, it's your base. So um, I've gone through things from the drugstore. I've gone through things from Sephora and Ulta. And I found that really NARS Sheer Glow is kind of my go-to right now because I did get color swatched for it. And I went through four different colors and the girl who worked with me at Sephora was awesome. And she color matched from my kind of jawline down to my neck. Some of the colors oxidized and turned orange immediately. And usually I don't have a problem with that, but with NARS I did. Um, some of the colors were too light and we ended up finding a color that was just perfect and that is Gobi. So um, definitely go and get color matched. And then with foundation, goes concealer. Definitely there's some awesome, awesome ones on the uh, high street and in a drugstore. Depending on where you're from, it's called different things. And honestly, my kind of tip with this is don't use a lot. Like just use what you need. Don't like cake it on. There's so many people on YouTube who are putting so much concealer on. It's like they're putting on another layer of foundation. And it's really not necessary. So I just work this in with a flat foundation brush. And if I'm not looking at the camera, it's because my mirror is over here. And I just put this under my eyes and then down my nose, right here between my eyebrows, on my forehead and on my chin. And I just really kind of work it in and thin it out as much as I can. Because I'm not the type of person who likes that kind of full coverage look. I want my natural skin and my natural luminosity to show through. So that's why I use um, brushes and I don't use my fingers as much. I want to be able to like really thin out the products that I'm using. And my concealer is the Rimmel 2-in-1 Match Perfection Concealer and Highlighter. You guys have seen me use this before. I love this so, so much. But makeup is really subjective. So if you don't like that for some reason, don't use it. Get something that you love. Find it in whatever part of the makeup aisles you like, whether it's Rimmel or Maybelline, or if you want something from Ulta or Sephora, NARS makes a really great, great concealer um, in their Creamy Concealer, and Urban Decay has a really great one in their Naked Skin Concealer. There's so many options, and just find one that fits you. So for eyebrows, there's always something new and different and trendy coming out but I kind of like to stick with that classic look. So I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color dark brown. And why I like it is because it's got a really tiny, tiny pencil with it. So it's literally like the thinnest pencil in the world. And it comes with a spoolie to brush your eyebrows through after you're done, while you're working. And this pencil doesn't really set 
very quickly. So you have a lot of time to work and play with your eyebrows, which I think is a really great thing. And so what I do is I kind of map out where I want my eyebrows to start and end first. So what I'll end up doing most of the time is kind of going from this front area and taking little feathery strokes and drawing all along this bottom edge all the way back to this back tail area where I'm going to make it super thin and then I'll usually start at the front and fill that in first because honestly that's the easiest part if you've never filled your eyebrows in before this is what I find easiest so I would just say that find something that's easy for you um, everybody does this differently but honestly there's no bad way to fill your eyebrows in as long as they look natural and pretty. You don't want to look like you've just tattooed your eyebrows on. And then I just take the pencil and bring my arch up a little bit more and connect those points. And brush it all through and if I find that there's any gaps I just kind of go back in and fill them in so I take the most time with my eyebrows because they really do frame your face and I'm just really picky about how they look Other people's thing is like their eyeliner, but mine is just my eyebrows, and that's okay. So I'm just going to do the same thing on this side. And just fill in that bottom line. And that kind of helps you give a guideline of where to start and stop also. And if you find that your eyebrows aren't even, that's okay. Eyebrows are meant to be sisters and not twins. Um, just from looking at myself when I edit videos and do my makeup in the mornings and stuff like that, um, I found that my left eyebrow is a little bit more straight across than my right. And my right eyebrow sits up higher. So there's just different unique things about your face that you're going to learn as you're doing your makeup and really taking time to look at your face. And that is what makes doing your makeup so like special and unique is that no other person is going to do it exactly like you. If I did my makeup exactly like Cara Delevingne did hers or anybody else really, it, just, it wouldn't look as good because my face isn't shaped like hers and my features aren't hers. So with eyebrow pencils, the last thing that I want to say is the softer the pencil is, whether you're using one of these twist up type pencils or one that you sharpen, is the sharper they are, the more precise you're going to be and the softer the actual um, consistency of the product is, is how long it's going to last. So softer products aren't going to last as long as things that are a little bit harder. So these Anastasia Brow Wiz um, pencils usually last me the whole day especially in the winter and spring. But in the summer, I kind of moved to a pomade because I live in Florida. It gets really hot and it gets kind of like humid and nasty. So a pomade is gonna stick to your skin and to your brows a lot better than a pencil will. But um, just keep that in mind for like climate area. If you live somewhere hot, stick to something that has a harder consistency. Your brows are gonna last longer or go with a pomade. And if you live somewhere where it's a little bit chillier and it's not as humid and nasty like it is here in Florida, then you can definitely get away with something that's a softer consistency um, all year round. So what I'm doing now is I'm putting tape on my eyes. So this is just regular scotch tape and um, I probably look ridiculous. 
but this is a really great trick especially if you have hooded eyes like I do um, for eyeliner probably not liquid but definitely a coal eyeliner or a regular pencil eyeliner this is a awesome awesome trick is to put tape where you want your wings to be and it'll act like a guideline you just need to be careful that you don't get tape in your actual eye so it's going to act like a guideline and when you rip that tape off your wings are going to be so sharp it's so great i love it so i'm using the tarte inner rim liner because i love it it's great it's super black and it's got a really great consistency to it so typically what i do is i kind of map out the line on my lash line first, kind of where I want things to go. And I can fix that up later. I know that it's really sparse and really kind of bad right now, but I'm actually gonna move on to the wings. So I'm gonna start kind of at the top of that tape and because I have hooded eyes I have to bring that wing over a lot farther than um, someone who doesn't have hooded eyelids and I'm just gonna color that area in So then when you take that tape off, you've got a pretty good edge. So then you can just kind of continue to build this up here. So there's your wing. So this eye definitely turned out better than this eye. And if you want even sharper wings, you can take a liquid liner and just touch things up a little bit. So to kind of touch up this um, winged look, I'm gonna take a little bit of black um, just matte shadow. This is from the Too Faced Stardust palette. It's called Sin City, but any kind of matte shadow that's black is going to do. And I am going to take it on a angled brush. Just take a little bit and tap off the excess. And I'm just going to fill in some of these gaps. So then it's also going to make everything super, super black. this is a good way, especially if you didn't get a pretty good line up here, to kind of even that out. And 
And then, um, especially with something like this, I like to add a little bit of color in my crease and not like a crazy color, like a purple or a cranberry, but something that is more neutral. So I am going to take this same palette and there's a color called Millennial, which is a terracotta color. And it's pretty close to the bronzer that I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna pop that into the crease. So for contouring, I would definitely kind of look straight at a mirror at your face. And for me, one of the sides of my face is thinner than the other. So my right side of my face is definitely thinner than my left side. So what I tend to do is put a little bit more of whatever contour product I'm using on my left just to make sure that I look even and normal. And so I'm going to use the Tarte Amazonian Clay Press Powder in the color Tan. And I'm going to use a Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. And honestly, I don't want to overdo it because these wings, man, those are my focal point today. I'm just going to suck my cheeks in. And just put a tiny, tiny amount of that um, contour product on and then take a clean brush. This is just an angled fluffy brush from Sephora. And I'm going to blend that in just a tiny bit. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. So one of the things with contouring is you don't want to bring it down your face too far and what I mean by down your face is down this way like towards your jawline because then it's really going to bring the structure of your face um, more down and elongate it, elongate it a little bit more and contouring really isn't about that it's about adding structure and kind of showing off kind of the hollows and the structure of your cheekbones of your face or adding them if you don't have them um, so you definitely want to stick to when you suck your cheeks in and kind of do that fish face like this, um, where that natural um, indentation is. So mine goes just from this little knob, like your tragus on your ear down, but you don't wanna bring the um, color down too close to your mouth because then it's gonna look really unnatural and drawn on almost. So what I tend to do is end my color right about the end of my eye. So the corner of my eye down is where my color goes and I always blend up just so I don't get that kind of drawn down look. So definitely always blend in a little bit of a circle and blend up. So I'm putting on a little bit of mascara. I've already done my um, lash curling. I use Tarte eyelash curlers. This is the Lancome Excessive Black in the Hypnose Drama Mascara. I got this in a mascara like set, like a set of 10, and I love it. It's really great. I kind of want a full size of it now. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that on. You can really honestly find some great mascaras at Target or the drugstore side of Ulta, whatever your kind of non-prestige makeup store of choices. There's some really, really great mascaras there. Um, I have kind of a whole drawer of mascaras just because I tend to get a lot of makeup at Christmas and I kind of just go through them one at a time and I use them up. So I'm kind of on this rotation of using high-end mascaras, but there are a ton of really great um, bargain mascaras that I love to get. Um, there's a really great Maybelline one, the False Lash um, one. There's the Telescopic Mascara from L'Oreal that's really awesome. So definitely just find one for you that fits your budget and fits what you're looking for. The last thing for my look today is going to be lipstick and this is the L'Oreal exclusive um, Julianne's Nude number 620. This is just a basic kind of pink nudie color. I've used this a lot before. I love it. And what's so great about this is you really honestly don't need a mirror for it. Once you put it on, it's kind of there. It wears off really easy. Um, if you're using a red with this, definitely make it a night out kind of look. But I would definitely say you could wear this look during the day because if you have hooded eyes like me and I'm kind of like looking in a mirror, 
all you can really see are the wings and you don't see this huge speck of black. You just see like, oh, she's got really pretty eyeliner on. So but I would definitely stick with a nude if you're going to do this during the day and just pop it on. And that's kind of the finished look. Um, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Um, I hope you guys are going to use some of these tricks in your own kind of makeup routine. If you want to see more videos like this, um, let me know down in the comments what you guys want to learn about, um, what kind of tricks you guys want me to do and um, show you guys. And if you've tried any of these and they've worked or if they haven't worked for you, let me know about that too. Um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're new. I would love to see you guys around and... Um, I will see you guys on Tuesday with a brand new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.